meeting with each other. Three wins each. The latest in Acapulco at the start of the year. Won by Kyrgios, and uh, that really added to the animosity. Both had a fair amount to say after it. Not much of it complimentary. Thirty love. Five-year-old Australian, born and raised in Canberra, against the 33-year-old Mjork. Aside the challenge of the Japanese qualifier Yuichi Sagiti in the straight sets on Tuesday. He lost just seven games. All in all, fairly straightforward. We uh, suspect this might not be quite as straightforward. Fascinating to see the two of them walk out, barely any eye contact whatsoever, even at the net. They, they, they were just totally ignoring each other. The, the, if, if, they, if you could see sparks like that, there were plenty of them flying around. <laughs> well, Rafa set a tone early in the first game, doesn't he? Holding to love. And that's the thing that worries me a little bit for Nick, is that playing that game with somebody who is so mentally strong on a tennis court, does he have that ability to keep it all together. I suspect that this match will be played at um, Nadal's pace as well. Uh, Kyrgios very keen to get on with it. Uh, Rafa more Nick keen to Kyrgios rearrange the water bottles. For, uh, for Nick Kyrgios, he was struggling a little bit, moving out to his right to the forehand, and Rafa's gone straight there in the first opportunity. Look, if there's one guy that likes competition, that likes the big stage, we talk about Nick and all the other players, well, Rafael Nadal is the one that drives on it. He knows the mind games, he knows the situations, he knows how to deal with it. Fifteen, cut A little bit of speed at that first set, first serve. First ace. Two great points. Well, I've got to say that in that first round match, when there were long rallies, he was gasping for breath. But quite often, we'll see how he reacts to the intensity here. Okay. 
I think, I think the pressure is on Kyrgios. You know, he has to produce. We know what to expect from Rafa. He's done it for 15 more years. But Nick has been the one that's been talking more than playing. Serious business on the other. Nadal leads two games to London. First set. That was actually a pretty good twin a lob, wasn't it? Because he was in big trouble. But the drop shot he used effectively on the first break point, but you were overdo it, Raf is too quick. There's been a, a forthright dominant start by Rafael Nadal. Already up with the break. Two love. What is Kyrgios going to have to think about today? What is he going to have to do better than Nadal? Well, he has to keep the, the points shorter, he, he, and he has to stay up on the baseline, even uh, in that first service game. As soon as he's pushed off a metre or so behind, that gives Rafa the chance to spread and open up his movement. And that's where he's going to find it very hard today. So he's got to stay up. He's got to use the lines as well, I think, on the grass to open up the angles for himself. There's a new rule time-wise with all the Grand Slams that it's 25 seconds the server has to get ready and Nadal usually times it to a T. Well, Nick takes about four seconds, so that's why it <laughs> seems such a long time before Rafa is ready. They had one of those um, serve shot clocks counting down at Roland Garros. It would add to the drama here on Centre Court. Nadal would know how much time exactly he had left. How much time Hoffa has left. And he would warn the player if he's taking too long time. Francis uh, Damian Dumasois is, uh, is in the chair today. Don't think he's expecting a quiet shift. He's one of the best in the world and um, he's overseeing law and order today. He might be busy. And on cue. Already interaction. Challenge that ball, correct? Why would he challenge? 
So why would you not look at me if I'm wanting to challenge? Where are you looking? I said, I won't challenge. I'll put my arm up for you. No, I went like this. I went up challenge. What do we make of body language? This, um, this is what I they did. looked like when they came out. Is that your fault? No? So I put my racket up for the challenge as well. started yet Nick Kyrgios breakdown first set love three he's saying he's ready to serve those on center court not yet I think we've got to the bottom of that little spat early on between um, Kyrgios and the umpire uh, Kyrgios wanted to challenge one of the calls but he wasn't happy that Dumaswell wasn't looking at him Maybe that's fired him up a little bit. He seems more engaged now. I think that was done on purpose just to get his blood flowing. I think he plays better when he's a bit angry, when he's a bit upset about things to a point. It's um, five years now since the teenage wildcard here on a Wimbledon invitation announced himself I guess to the wider world extraordinary debut on centre court epic shots epic moments Game chaos. and there it is in uh, six seventh game pulling a chair up to the table for the first time well, it's 24 now to one for this seven. season has not been a terrific one apart from Acapulco and on the grass certainly doesn't have a lot of matches under his butt but he's still in a mindset Bryce, where he, he feels he can walk out and turn it on doesn't that change a little bit once you start to get to this age it should you know there comes a point when uh, anybody even Nick Kyrgios has to practice a little bit more uh, you know Rafa is probably practicing more now than he's done 10 years ago just to keep it up and actually get better nothing beats practicing in matches I think that one of the things you just said there really resonates with me is that Nick isn't continuing to develop his game because he doesn't have a coach and he doesn't spend the hours on the court that's necessary there are parts of the game that he could be doing better at net he's a good volley a good hands he could volley much better than he does though dig some tougher volleys out Nadal was making after defeat in Acapulco he was saying yeah, it's great but he's 72nd in the world what's he doing there and the insinuation was that he's working nowhere near hard enough than he might be and if he was working harder he might be really challenging for grand slams there's a indication of how quickly it's taking in between serves and 20 seconds is borderline slow but if it would be too slow the umpire would say something Quizzical look at the line. 
when uh, when Kyrgios heard those comments, he he said Nadal can be salty. Nadal said Kyrgios can be disrespectful. Throwing logs on the fire. It's all been building very nicely to this moment. Though, on the tennis court, there's only one man leading the conversation at the moment. 4 1. Nadal leads four games to one per set. Well, what stood out so far for me is that how aggressive Nadal's being off that forehand. If Kyrgios drops that ball just a, a little short on that service line, he's burying it. You may remember Nadal's form last year's Wimbledon. I thought that's the best he's played on grass, and you certainly remember this epic semi-final I against Djokovic. One of Djokovic. the best, best matches I've ever watched. I didn't watch it as a commentator. I sat in the stands yeah. to watch it as a spectator. It was spellbinding. Yeah, and it was 9-7 in the fifth, and uh, he was so close of winning it. Why do I have to wait when I'm so... I'm ready to serve. No one's standing up. Why am I waiting? Why? about the speed of play it has to be natural speed of play and he thinks Nadal is slower than the speed of play because the rule it, the etiquette rule says that you must play to the speed of the server so the, he's saying that Nadal is not ready when I'm ready to serve I think that's the crux of it set breakdown 4-1 I actually haven't seen him warm up this morning. Did he hit a couple of yeah, balls? Or yes, he did. He did. Okay. Yes, mm. uh, I, I saw him down on the mm. practice court. Don't you know? Make sure I went to take a look because I'm not so sure how long the warm up was before the first round because it took him a set to really break yeah. into a sweat yeah. and, and find the center of the racket. Next father, Mr. Kyrgios. Seen you. 13 15. Yes, Georgios was, uh, was in the box for Tuesday's first round win. Uh, a win of swings and roundabouts against Jordan Thompson. Five setter, he lost the fourth set, six love. It's bizarre stuff going on. Only won five points in the entire set. Mm. 14 15. Well, he does trouble and his own road, four games to two. that is Perfect. for sure. He lives and he plays and he practices his, uh, his own way, prepares his own way. He was up at the Dog, Dog and Fox in uh, Wimbledon Village last night. Yeah, you, you, Boris it's reasonable, isn't that. it? A couple of beers beforehand, isn't that playing Nadal on centre court. Isn't that an Aussie trade? I mean, I've seen a <laughs> lot of Aussie guys over the years having a pint or two it may have been one or before two. match or doubles even. I've seen it. <laughs> Are you suggesting I was up there? <laughs> No, but some of the other horses I've seen, nothing wrong with it. But you're right, playing Nadal the next day. Let. In the times, social yes. media, yeah. you get spotted quickly. Yeah, it's a lovely pub, Boris, but yeah. there are, might be times and a place for everything. Between 
Talking again about the speed. Seasons to the eye, at least, it looks like that Nadal has picked up more speed off the ground. He's more aggressive. There's no doubt that's been a a tactic and target of the coaching team to take it on earlier within the rally. Again, another holds to love. New balls, please. There's a, a game away from the. First set. And that leads five games to two. First set. Uh, so many differences between these two, not just um, their approach to life, but their approach on the court as well as we've we've seen already. A couple of um, couple of players from opposite ends of the tennis spectrum. One of them, him, who uh, who thrives in a world of order and uniformity. The other chap on the other side of the umpire's chair who who revels in a, a little bit more noise and chaos Let's see which one comes out on top today he's not a happy camper at the moment however Todd Nick curious no because he's being bullied at the moment by Rafael Nadal the Spanish bull has being aggressive inside the court, using Fire. that forehand so well. Yeah, and right now he's winning the mind games. He's into yeah. the head of Nick Kyrgios, and the slow plays are within the rules. Otherwise, the yeah, umpire would have said something. It's really bothering Nick early on. Uh, would it be? So with new balls, um, but a bucket full of problems. Nick Kyrgios, 2-5. Oh. Mr. Kyrgios is changing the call on the right service line. The ball was called out. Because anything will travel around London this week. You see much quicker than that this year. That is that is rapid. And played as a second serve, yeah. by the way. Leads five games to three. We expected it. 
He's not breaking the rules. He said he was going to do it. Please, and he's players are ready. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Meantime, there's a set to be won here for Rafael Nadal. to receive I think the Nick Kyrgios show has started Not 15 and, and you can almost tell by the reaction of that first he didn't really want something like that to happen he grabbed the ball quickly turned his back to Kyrgios as if to not look not engage and Quick momentum shift here. Safety no. It's close. Good return. Nafa needs that first set to settle things a little bit. from Rafael Nadal, giving back as good as he's getting. Huge game here. You can see the reaction of both players. He knows what at stake. Just chip, Perfect. and as soon as that chip ball's in play, then Nadal can take control with his forehand. He, he knew he couldn't let Kyrgios have a good free swing at it. two games didn't it and I think I think we're actually got a, a match on our hands I think those first five games dominated by Nadal but Kyrgios he changed it didn't he? he ignited something oh look at this and now Nadal's leaving the court as well yeah I would say first blood Rafa you know Lau was talked about and at stake here and the early going and I think Rafa 
just just took it much better early on. You know, Nick ignited his game by starting a conversation with the umpire. He continues to do so, and then obviously here we see the statistics: first second serves won by half a first serves won. So it is a winner. By the end of that first set, we saw the Nakira show with the underhand serve, the second serve, 143 miles an hour. So he's starting to get more involved, but some of the antics on the side. Have a listen to this. Have a listen to I don't really like. Under extreme pressure at the moment, Damian Dumas will. So and usual to see Rafa leave the court after just one set. Is that him reversing the, Look, the mind game on Nick? Good point, to the top. I think you know Rafa. You've got to be special to be on top for so long, and you, you you've been the master of these these mind games in the rule books, and, and you know Ro Roger and, and Novak as well. So whatever a position they throw at you, you're going to find an answer. I'm sure they had strategy about it, and they Look at talked about it. You know what's so clever about that underarm serve is it developed the start of the serve right here. This is his normal motion, so he actually just doesn't go through the rest. It's there. You can't really read that. You know, I've got a question to Boris because Rafa and all of the top players, and I'm going to include you in that, Boris, when you played against them, right, as I did against Boris, they have an aura out there and they have this ability to control the court, whether it be the pace of play, they you know, the umpire, they're almost the conductor in the orchestra. I, I felt that against you. Did you realise that that was happening? Well, we like to be in control, put it that way. And, and, uh, I'm sure Rafa. Oh, oh, sorry, Boris, let's just listen to this. No? Yes or no? So I'm, I'm, I'm serving next, and he happens to take the toilet break now. Why? And the same break. I think, I think just to summarise Kyrgios' beef at the moment. He thinks that there's maybe one rule for one and one rule for another. Trying to work out, get to the bottom of um, what his complaints are about. He thinks that Nadal is allowed to get away with things that maybe he wouldn't be allowed to get away with at the moment. It's, um, He's allowed to a toilet break. He's allowed to Time. do this, isn't he? Yeah. Anyway, apologies, Boris. But he, no, no, but it's it's again. Um, we're talking about Rafael Nadal, one of the greatest players of all time. Um, I'm sure he's sometimes over the line on the serve. Yeah, he's a bit slow and gets gets warned for it and so forth. But all the other things he does, that's what he does. And I think he earned his right to be a little bit different than all the others. You know, it, it's up to Nick if he continues to work hard and you know, wins a couple more matches and ultimately wins a major, which he can, I believe. I'm sure there'll be a Nick Curious rule for I don't Second know what. Set. So in, in this, this world we live in, you have to earn your position. Kyrgios to serve. Interesting to see how far Nadal stands back to receive these serves now. That would um, encourage more underarm serves. <laughs> that was more out of the textbook. Yeah, and he's a fine player. He's a fine player, one of the most talented out there. He's a great personality. He would be so good for the game because one day Rafa and Roger Nova got too old. It has to be based on the ability to win tennis matches, not how you want to entertain the crowd. Forty love. That's half a dozen aces now. Rueful smile on the face of the Spaniard. Fifteen. Just with the flick of the wrist of the Nadal four and return. Game, Kyrgios. Even here, the chapel. 
first game, second after set. That, uh, after that Nadal winner, but he, um, he wins the first game. From a curious perspective, I'm liking the way he's started to get some good rhythm on his serve. You can tell that Nadal's starting to have a little bit of trouble picking it. And that's the one thing about the curious serve is the ball toss sits in the same place and he can hit every corner of the court with it. Yep. You can't read it. There's another statistic that's interesting. In the last match at Acapulco where Nick actually won, he lost the first set as well. So I wouldn't put too much emphasis on him losing the first set. His grass, you know, it's not physically too demanding. He can get away with it. He's continuing to shake his head at, at Nadal's timekeeping. It's, uh, he's on a different time zone at the moment. Australian time not equating to Spanish time. Nadal, first set, and now love one in the second. Good here now for Kyrgios, as we've finally got a positive energy. If he could just get rid of that little bit of chit-chat with the umpire and keep it in this intensity. Now he's starting to pressure Nadal. Right play, second serve, you know, you got to take your chances, you got to take risks. to get more forehands. Oh. 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 Oh.
the stands. Sun on the court. Kyrgios stepping into this contest now. Kyrgios leads two games to rally. Second set. And this forehand here just rips it through the line. It'll be interesting to see how he recovers from such a physical point. But that next, that's Nick Kyrgios, the tennis player. That's how good he can play when he keeps his emotion in check. Full. short as he possibly can looking for as many free points off the first serve speak enough about the Nadal's backhand. It's really improved a lot over the years. I don't like seeing that. Because Nadal was so deep in the court, a little skip and a hop just to help it get over the net. Well inside the baseline, so good choice. Just a great point down. talk about good hands it was just all about manipulating the racket face advantage please. well he served 37 aces on this court the day that he beat Nadal five years ago and uh, he's up to eight today 
It was in four sets, right? Last yeah. time in the school, yeah. 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 Second set, first set, Nadal. Well, it's interesting to see uh, how Kyrgios has been working on that serve. Upped it by, um, by more than 10 miles an hour in the second set. A bit more pace, Todd. Well, that's been key to getting on top in this set. But, you know, it started towards the end of that second set. He started to find some rhythm. He started to be aggressive. And he has to serve at that pace, I think, if he's going to win because he needs free points and he needs quick points. And that was a huge save. There's uh, Kyrgios swinging into, uh, into business. Time. Never yet beyond the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam. He's been to the uh, to the last eight twice here. That year he beat Nadal in 2014, and then at home in Australia at the start of the following year. Lots of you may remember him losing to Andy Murray that day. So for, for all of his ability, and we've seen it in pockets here today. The uh, the last eight has been the limit of his um, Grand Slam exploration so far. And he's got a, a tricky challenge today in the form of the two-time champion Rafael Nadal who will be slightly upset of not taking a chance on the last curious service game so he must be fuming inside even though we'd never see him he's always in control of his emotions very matter-of-factly Pressures on Nadal is to at least hold serve where Nick can swing at his returns. First time we've seen Rafa mix it up a little bit. He sees Nick deep in the court and you can see that little grip change necessary for that drop shot there. Best Wimbledon for a while last summer. He uh, pushed into the semi-finals again before losing to Djokovic in that magical contest. 10-8 in the fifth set. Been a while since he got that far. Second set. Leads, so still a breakdown. Second set. Obviously, I watch a lot of Nick Kyrgios's matches, and this is actually the best I've seen him in terms of focus for a long time in a match. Quite frankly, that doesn't say a lot. 
15 लाख I know, what you, long, mean, Todd. I know long, what you mean, Todd. I know what you mean. How long can it last is probably the next sentence I have to have after that. But he's up a break. He's going to do everything he can on his service games and just let loose on the redoubt. Fifty no. It's been interesting to see him up that um, service speed by 10 miles an hour in the second set. To, to give any ground on his own baseline, to stay in that rally, muscle 13, to muscle, and 15. then the shot, my goodness. But that takes out energy, that's physically very demanding, and this is early stage, middle of the second set. Eventually, this man will feel it. shot selection starts to change and he goes for things that are a really low percentage at the moment he's, he's doing a great job at staying within the rally but how long can that remain He wouldn't serve in volley more after the slice serve out wide because Nadal is really pulled wide on the court here. Maybe still too much respect of the Rafa return. No, oh. it's another what? Yeah, okay. This one wins the game. Two of them now. And, uh, are they booze? I think. He's getting the bird here from centre court. He's tweaking the nose of Nadal. And he's not making friends inside this arena at the moment. Chaos leads, four games to one. Second set. Mr. Nadal and Carlos Costa. Nadal. I have no issue with the underarm serve. I don't know why he would be booing him. I mean, it's perfect, perfectly legitimate. And Rafa actually had a pretty basic forehand. He should be upset with himself for missing that one there. He was up on it quick enough. Let's have a look. He read it. And for him, that's a, a pretty open line with a whipping forehand that we've seen him hit many times. But how much not Alpha got into Nick's head in the first set, I think it's the other way around now. What do you make of the booing, Boris? Well, this is the old school of tennis. This is the church. This is, you know, where it all started. And those are unusual shots we haven't seen on this court. Time, but legitimate for, shots, we should make that. Of course, point. within the rules, and, and yes, you know, he's not going to get penalised for it. It's just unusual for all the fans here at SWS 19, especially on centre court, to see that. Can't take your eyes off it. Still a breakdown in this uh, second set. 1 4. Let first service. Thank you. 
Bless you. Gesundheit. Peace. We're talking a lot about Nick Kyrgios at the moment. How do you think Nadal's handling the theatre that's happening on the other side of the net? the strategy that he was going to be the one that was going to direct the traffic be the dominant force but he got off to that great start i think he rue that break point that he didn't take on there because all of a sudden it's been handed back and nick for me is now the one that's conducting and timing this match let for service i think the one thing for for rafa is he, he has to be careful that he doesn't get a little tentative. Tentative for Rafa means going to rally mode because if he if he does that he gives Nick the chance to pick and choose which ball he can tee up on. Ball oh. oh. Let second service. And that's the type of game to uh, thought you were Second referring to, that Nadal has to keep on hitting the ball, not just pushing it over, because that's grass court tennis after all. Yeah, he can get away with that on yeah. the clay, and but here you have to take more of a calculated risk. But the onus is on Nick now. Once the rallies start to go too long and he feels pressure, he's going to play something like that now. He's behind the baseline, low percentage, and that puts pressure on him here. Love 30. Natal wasn't ready yet, even though Nick wanted to serve.
14. And the breaker serve that he worked so hard to engineer at the beginning of this second set. Nadal with three opportunities to wrestle it back. from uh, Nick Kyrgios and the doll back in this second set 3 4 yo do it then stop saying it do it do it so you take you 20 years so you take it all these 20 years me, don't, don't, don't tell oh, me what to do don't talk to me oh yeah yes i do it whenever so i want i do it whenever i want 20 years what up Kyrgios leads four games to three second set first set nada Starting my routine, and the guy tells me to stop. You are right. That's so look at where. Tell when I want. Tell it. When I want. As this uh, it. row continues so uh, now, about right. how quickly wow, Nadal is taking in between points. So much power up there. Wow. Yeah. Let's it's let's have a look at let's have a look at this. When you won. So much power up. Huh? It was good. Time. It was good for you, huh? Wow, so much power for you, huh? You're good to be up there, huh? Well, he's upset that Nadal wasn't hey, ready to return, to even though him, the server, was what's ready. The they had a discussion there, early right? in the first set, and this oh. was this... Well, yeah. This is what this discussion is all about. Well, now Nadal shaking his head. I think, um, Damien Dumasois, as he wandered back underneath the chair, just had a quiet word and said, you need to be ready a little bit quicker. Again, just to underline the, edit, the etiquette, boys, it's, it, time should revolve really around the server. Yeah, and Nick's complaint was that, look, I'm into my motion, I'm into my routine, and then he's telling me to stop. Telling me he's not ready, he needs to be ready once I'm into my routine. New balls. Congratulations, that's my conduct warning, Mr. Kios. The match is heating up. I said it would be fireworks. Here we go. New balls. Same old arguments. on the edge. Well, he had time to make a pass there and he went for the head. I think that was directed at the dark. Certainly wasn't uh, a passing shot, was it? He set it up beautifully though, didn't he? Nobody ever criticised Nick's tennis qualities and the feel he has for the ball. Is, um, not gripping everybody. <laughs> the 
this eye launch. Oh, what a rip of that forehand. I mean, 15 foot from behind the baseline to generate that much speed off that ball is so impressive. 101 miles per hour. This is crunch coming in the second set. Anything can happen. Nadal gave up a little bit of time here by trying to get around to get that forehand. He couldn't get it as clean as he liked. Break point. second set. Chaos leads five games to three, second set. Well, it hasn't let us down. We gave it the big builder in lights, underlined, with fluorescent pen, and it's more than delivered. Maybe not one for the purists, but um, there has been plenty of drama. And here's uh, another act, Nick Kyrgios serving for the second set, 5-3. more serve volley when he's just chipping against a natural serve volley that's our bread and butter shot if somebody stays way behind the baseline he's a lefty usually the slice serve in is the medicine that works three set points curious Some point. It was a brilliant set of tennis. Uh, 
he absorbed a bit of disappointment, wouldn't it, losing his serve to love in the seventh game. But this is the sort of thing that if you just got rid of that, just focus the energy on playing more good points, back it up. Is it okay if we play with you both? A simple question. And you gave me a code violation for that? You really think I'm gonna get in trouble for that? I just go and appeal it then. What are you gonna write? Mr. Kyrgios asked if we could use new balls. I gave him a code violation. No, that's not necessary. He should relax. He won the second set. He's back in the match. He's playing good tennis. There's no need for this. What happened, happened. Why does he do this, Todd? You think? <laughs> Why does he? A simple question, but maybe not quite so simple. You think to because answer. I'm an Australian, yeah, I might well, know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'll, I'll look at both of you, but uh, but it's a question that will be in lots of our minds at the moment. You first, Boris. I think it's a question of maturity, honestly. You know, I have sons that age, and regardless what I tell them and teach them and show them, they know it better. And they, until they find out. They might be wrong on one or two things, and that's what it is. He's growing up in the front and eyes of the world. And, and maybe that victory five years ago hurt his growth and hurt his maturity because all of a sudden he, he, he got the, what he needed. He got the attention. I'm all those early 20 years, they're attention seekers. That's what they love. They're all there on their mobiles, they're social media fanatics, and that's what they care most about. That's the problem. You're nodding to All right, he summarized it beautifully, didn't yeah. he? I think, I think it, it, at some point, if he can get a mentor, a coach, a life coach, whatever it might be that he can really connect with, I think that will help him to be able to just focus a little bit more. <laughs> he's, uh, he's playing his part as well. I can't remember, incidentally, a match where Rafael Nadal was on court and we talked about Nadal as little as we have. That's, that's what Nick Kyrgios does to, uh, to our focus. The gunslinger. <laughs> I, feel, I, tell what, I have a feeling this is going to be epic today. You know, they both are steaming, it's said all. I expect a lot more of this the next hour and a half, two hours. There's, there's one more factor that I'll be interested to see if it comes into play here this afternoon and it's not a traditional type of factor it's only when one other player I can remember that's Andy Murray has been out here where the crowd starts to play their part if, if this were Paris they'd be taking sides and I, we've heard a little bit of booing we've heard some conjecture and I wonder whether the fans will pick one or the other as this goes deeper. Again, another uh, appreciation from Kyrgios. Great serving on the previous serve and little clap of the racket. On First that game, one. third set. It's interesting, Todd, you, you wondering about how Kyrgios is firing himself up with this sense of injustice sometimes. We have a, an interesting little graphic from Hawkeye here about what he's been doing with his shot speeds since he was given the violation. 
Yeah, so it, it fires him up, gets the adrenaline going, makes him more aggressive, and of course that's actually helped him because he gets more spin and he's been able to take control of Rafa and push Rafa off the baseline. And also that's, for me, when Rafa gets that little bit tentative, when he feels like he's being pushed around the court more. He likes to be the one that does the pushing. That's that Kyrgios, love one. Good love. Thirty. No. But overall, both players have to settle down the emotions a little bit. Back to basics. Back to just playing tennis. Forty. No. Playing tennis in the shortest possible time period at the moment for Curious. Two aces in a row. Travelling around without a coach at the moment, as he uh, as he so often has, um, working out who would be best for him is is one thing. But I suppose an easy question is, does he need one? Would that help? It'll help when he's ready to listen and take the messages on board. But until then, it's no point. Mr. Nadal is training the call on the right service line. The ball was called out. It was a, a quick challenge. I think Rafa felt that off his racket he had made it. Yep. <laughs> That's correct. 50 love. And Nick already changed sides. <laughs> Nick, 50 love. Here we go. Let the drama begin. Oh, here we go. with Nick on this one. So it was a second serve and a call comes and he misses the return and umpire saying it didn't have anything to do with him missing the shot. He's just made that um, the call affected his stroke. And, uh, and sometimes, if he hadn't had the chatter before the umpire, he would have got the call go his own way. Yeah. But now it, everything goes against him because it's been a tough task for the umpire. Say, no. I don't think the umpire is against him, but there is a build-up of tension because of it. Must 
be so exhausting for him emotionally all the time. These aggravations and... and <laughs> oh. 40 love. Ah, he's walking away from the serve. He's walking away from this game. Got a feeling that Tam Nadal can put this anywhere and it'll win the point. Nadal leads two games to one. Third set, one set on. Are we going to no, fight no, no, the whole match? That's the problem. Are we going to fight the whole match, Nick? I'm just letting you know. That's the problem. Yes. Are like you okay? Feel like you're actually important. No, I don't see it. I just want to know. No, it is. It's when I ask you, ask me like, what I want, what I want. Bro, you're no one in the scheme of things. No, I Either am I, but you're no one. No, I, yeah, not. but you don't know that. You think you're important. That's the problem. No, I don't see that. No, that's the, that's, that's I the don't point. See the for you. you do. I, yes, no, you do. Not at all. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You talk. When someone asked you something, he said, when I want. You feel like you're important. Because, because you were right. screaming. No, no, it's very cute. You were screaming. It's very cute. And I have no like idea it. what's going on. No idea. You have no idea. If everyone thinks this tennis match is important. You have no idea. No idea. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace. I'm not sure how yeah, much more of this Damien Dumas well can take. This is a Time. fairly serious and sustained abuse at the moment. Uh, the, uh, the only thing I feel for Damien here is that he has to not engage with Nick and that's a hard thing to do because as soon as he does he's actually bringing himself unfortunately into this equation as well and Nick will use him. Now whatever happened to Lars Fabianes has to put it all aside, focus on the task at hand, try to serve a first serve. First time that, that I've ever seen uh, his dad George actually he, he stands up before and helps and and applauds. Thirty look. However, at that time he actually told him, you know, "Just get back in there. You're in this match. Yeah. You know, let, let's cut this out. You're playing great tennis." Uh, he was he was shaking his head. We saw in the middle of that exchange with with, with Dumas. What? It's very unusual from him. The father's worried about his son a little bit. That's what it is. 40, no. Two games all, third set. He's right in the middle of the match. Mm. Anything can happen. This is Mr. Nadal, proud man himself, watching his son. I don't know if all this is starting to affect Nadal a little bit well, more. Yeah, just starting to think that. There come a point where even for Nadal it will begin to chip away and be human. Selection time. Yeah. This was 
Obviously on a big point, having had love 15. It's a chance to build pressure. Can have a free one back. Let first service. Shores in the lead-up to this contest that whatever Kyrgios was doing, whatever he was throwing down on the other side of the net, it would make no difference to him. He would just go about his business and largely speaking, maybe totally speaking, that's um, exactly what the Spaniard has done so far. <laughs> one or two shakes of the head, a big smile at one point, but um, nothing monumental. Two game points. <laughs> Game, another. Oh. He's keeping his cool and his determination. And he's ahead in this third set. On serve, 3 2. Nadal leads three games to two, third set. One set over. This, the, uh, the living wall bolted onto the uh, side of number one court, new addition this year. It's an old favourite, Hinman Hill. You can't actually hear what's going on inside centre court on Hinman Hill, so they'll be, uh, they'll be seeing the histrionics, they'll be seeing the facial expressions and having to, having to work it out for themselves, having to lip read maybe. Well, a beautiful day like today, sunny, and that's almost the place to be if you can't get a ticket for centre quarter number yeah. one. It's a wonderful atmosphere. Beautiful big TV screen on the side. Really get the vibe of women. Yeah, that living wall is something else, isn't it? I think it's 15,000 organic flowers involved in it. They've been um, trucked up from West Sussex. It's a, it's a wonderful addition. Not just the roof on number one court this year, but again, Wimbledon managing change like few others around the world. Kyrgios right now having to manage himself. Mates in the box are with him. Nadal leading Kyrgios. Third set, 2-3. Let first. And I was just thinking the whole time when he has good mentoring, Nick. But you know, the whole behavior and everything, I'm thinking John McEnroe, if there was one guy that was emotionally anything like it, obviously a better tennis player, is, is John. Gotta get out some of these old DVDs from 1982 <laughs> and 94. They, they were VHS tapes. Yeah. Yeah. They, were, they were Peter Max, weren't they, I think, back then? Yeah. Video 2000. Mr. Nadal is turning the call on the right baseline. The ball was called out. <laughs> That's why there's some sportsmanship is told right for her challenge. It's very close. Replay the points. <laughs> so, maybe a little bit of detente going on around here. Maybe it's time to, um, to call the rhetoric. Good on you, mate. Isn't that what you say there? <laughs> uh, 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 Slip from the dial as he tried to lift off. And he was 
your second favourite. So, Boris, I, I wonder what you think here, because I, I would like Bertie, Rafa to yeah. actually come up a little bit more on the return. On that second serve, he was so far back, and I think that helps Nick. Gives him more time to... 40 level. Do something. He's almost respecting Nick's serve too much. That's what I feel. I think if he comes up just a little bit, it just changes how much Nick feels. You know, it closes the gap a little bit, makes it harder. Let. At least just for a little while. Look, he hasn't won a point on serve at all in this set so far. Now, look, look at this second serve. Look how deep he is. Standing almost 15, 15. four meters behind the baseline. He had 40 love. I don't mind it, honestly. I think it's it's good. It's funny. It's entertaining. Yeah. I don't like it at 15:40. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 13, 13. I don't think he's your classical volley that bends slow and has beautiful you know, volley. He has a good touch, he has a good feel. But sometimes the technique is missing. And he started himself. Square games wise in this third set, three games apiece. Three yeah, on games on that set. volley, Boris. It's something that I think ever, every now and then in some big matches and big points, the volley costs him. And it's not because he's not a good volley, it's because he hasn't done the, the, the hard work on that technique. Like you just said, he doesn't get down, he uses his hands. And under pressure, if you use your hands too much and rely on it too much, it can come back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. Let first service. Set all three all. I don't see anybody now ahead. I mean, not only because of the score, but always ma matches have momentums and one's leading over the other. At the moment, I see it dead square. Yeah. Out. Now 15. Let first of us. It's interesting to see Kyrgios' position to receive. He's trying to be as aggressive as he as he can to get that ball back at Nadal as soon as he can. Test that Nadal transition from serve to next shot. Yeah, he really wants to get that ball back hard and deep and quickly so that Nadal doesn't get that time to get set, take the full lengthy backswings that, that he does.
New balls, please. Go three. Nadal leads four games to three, third set. One set off. Carlos Moya isn't, uh, isn't in the coach's box here this week, but um, talking about that Nadal serve, Boris, we know that they did a lot of work on it before Australia, designed exactly to, um, to get Nadal back in position as quickly as possible to receive that, that return of serve. No, that's right, but I want to mention Francisco Roig, who's then yep. his coach here on the grass. He did the last year, they exchanged each other. Obviously, Carlos was at the French Open, so was Francisco. No, you're absolutely right. They realized that he has to improve his serve here on the right, and Francisco with the white hat. He needs to improve his serve because the young generation is so powerful and winning so many free points on the serve. But also because he wanted to have, after the return of serve, the first hit on his forehand, so they worked on the serve and then moving to the backhand side so he, Rafa can start with the forehand, the rally. That's what they've been working on well and obviously winning the French Open, it didn't work Time. out. Time! Coaches call it the plus one. That, that, that net shot. If, if you're not a server that you know, has 25, 30 aces, Nick doesn't have to worry about that. But if you're a good server, but you really rely on your ground stroke, especially on the forehand side, that's what you need to practice. That is rushing up here. Because it's the server's time. When to start the point. Third set. Kyrgios, 3-4. Fifty love. It's such an easy motion. Good rhythm, you know, it's obviously very high, tall, long legs, long arms. Very little effort for him to serve well. And that's why I'd like to see him change the position because he has the rhythm now. Do you know? When you got the rhythm on server and you're getting the same look all the time well it's it's easy you're relaxed and that's what's happening for Kyrgios he's found it I think it happened after the ball was past him as well. Assess this for us, Boris. I'm keeping stum here. Marks I, out of I'm 10, just, what is that? Yeah, I've seen better dives, actually. <laughs> That's true. The one that does a good job at Tsitsipas. I've seen him diving perfectly. Okay. ability to hit it hard and flat I wouldn't think the trajectory he could keep it in the court but he does well it's a match that has sometimes skirted with the pantomime but I think we all feel right here right now this is purely about tennis, and this is purely about who's going to wrestle control of it, maybe uh, maybe midway through. It's a fascinating part of, um, of this second round contest. Said they mean just a little bit more. Yeah. 
James, you know. Let for service. But you talked about his back and down the line being the key shot. You have a good point. Wow. Pretty impressive stat here. Allegiance. It was within the rules, but... boxer at the start of um, a world title fight.
spiked, came back. And Nadal, and listen to this, listen to this on centre court. Nadal 5 4, third set. Nadal leads five games to four, third set. Wants it all. Enjoying this time. I am. I want to see that reaction, if, if we can, of Nadal when he went to his chair and he he tries to get the crowd behind him. It's an unusual piece from him. It's not this bit here. He then goes to the side and he tries to get them all coming with him. And he's using every bit of energy he can. Have a look at that. <laughs> the Matador sees red. I tell you what, if, I, if I, there's one player I don't want to get rattled, I don't want to you know, start really emotional is Rafael Nadal. And I've seen Novak and I've seen Roger and I've seen some of the other greats, but this guy, I would be careful. Yeah, you're flicking the nose of the python if you, um, if you do that, which is fine. But you've got to be fairly sure that you know how to deal with the python when they strike back. And, um, oh, this is just magnificent entertainment. I know you boys thoroughly enjoy retirement. I suspect that these are the moments where you think, I'll tell you what, it'd be quite nice to be back out there again. That's one of the most exciting matches I've commented in a long time. I'm really on the edge of my seat and has everything. And, 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 and I love Nick Ford because he brings it in. For, most importantly, he brings it as a tennis player. He plays fascinating with today. Serving to stay in this third set. Nick Kyrgios, 4-5. a much better volley though he stayed down with it you have a look here you can see his eyes are behind the ball the knees are bent stays with it terrific stuff And down the line by Nick. Good reflex there. Game sold, third set. So Nick answered all the questions. No, it's Rafa's turn.
Anthony Lowe. It's the footwork to be in the right position to hit this winning shot, Todd. Well, importantly, it's the first time he's won the first point on his service game for a long time. If he doesn't make this shot, though, he's in trouble because he's got himself outside of that singles alley into the doubles alley. Yeah, we shouldn't be surprised by now anymore. It wasn't one of the most important points. Let for service. First service. We talked about how he just readjusted that service motion of his to be in position to hit the forehand as much as he possibly can. This is this is that first shot after the first serve today, Boris. That's exactly what he's been working on. He realized that he's not a server that wins that many free points on a serve, but he can set up his forehand, which is probably the most dominating force in tennis. And that's exactly what this statistic tells us. There's one thing I'd like to see him do a little bit more on the forehand. It may come into play in this match is that when he does get around and use that, he goes off, we call that, to the Kyrgios forehand. It's very heavily spun. And he does that on clay and hardcourt to get the ball to jump out and move his opponents. It's not as effective on this surface because it tends to prop up enough. And if he flattens it and hits it a little harder, faster, lower, I think he can open up the court on Kyrgios a bit more, take some time away. At the moment, though, that little Dive. bit of prop is allowing Kyrgios some time to take a cut on his forehand. <laughs> Good love you, Rafa and Nick. Divided loyalty. That's what you want from a crowd, too. You don't want to have it one-sided. You want everybody really supporting both players. Yeah. So challenge for Nick Kyrgios once again is to uh, serve to stay in this third set. Well. Ah. And a slight serve volley. Damian Dimaswa assured him that the challenge would be pointless. This is uh, Dan Sebastian. Forty love. Well, a point away from a tiebreaker in the third set and. 
bird to serve and be even play now. Set tiebreak. Each player receives one additional challenge. Well, I think for Nadal to win this tiebreak, he has to Thank make you. a lot of first serves and not give Kyrgios an opportunity on second serves. What's your hunch, Todd? Feeling Nick at the at this point. Me too. One zero. Nadal. Keep the first serve by Rafa. Nadal has uh, never beaten Kyrgios in a tie break. One off. If it's played six one six at the end of this. This really will be fascinating. I'll tell you what, that's one of these stats that both players know. of that return, got it deep into the court and allowed himself to one. Nadal. get into the rally. But this back end, we talked about flattening out the forehand, it's the back end when he really steps in and flattens it out, they can do damage cross court. First mini break for Nadal. Been on court for two hours. It's um, been relentless. Three, one, Nadal. I had the third by Rafa, but Nick read the corner and actually good hit on that backhand. Nick has to deliver now. Many 
strike down. So that's key things as they change hands after the first six points. You've got Nadal making terrific returns, but he's also picked, so terrific serves, but he's picked the Nadal serve and got it back into play. It's been a perfect time break so far from that man on screen. Okay, and this time, got his own rhythm. The water bottle back to his spot. Another one as well. And it for 15 years. <laughs> Kyrgios, meantime, has had a cup of tea and a biscuit. He's been on the baseline for a while. But it hasn't happened before Nadal's back on his baseline. It's on the server speed. Just reminding everybody. Cool here, it's good to see. too much Nadal. spin on it. He really rips it. And see that one prop and it gives Kyrgios time to take the rip at it. Doesn't quite get it close enough to any line, that approach on the forehand. Still with one mini break, Rafael Nadal. set points. Let first service. Drive volley. <laughs> <laughs> Up in the air. Take all these 25 seconds he has. 
put the hair right to shorts to wristband nose ears Seeing reaction like this all match, and it's uh, it's just further underlining of the places on the tennis court that Nick Kyrgios is pushing Nadal at the moment. He's drawing reaction like that. I tell you what, that that'll be the photo in the paper tomorrow if any of the snappers courtside got it. He was about a meter in the air when he leapt after winning that set point. Here we go. Have a look at this <laughs> athleticism. That's after he's won a set. <laughs> Terrific pitches. Well, that for me was one of the best sets of tennis that we've seen Nick Kyrgios play for a long time. He didn't win the set. Let's hope that he can come back out. Oh, this is something else, as was that reaction. Boris, you asked, you just wanted to see Nick come out and play tennis. Well, that last set was the best tennis set I've seen him play possibly all year. He didn't win it. I don't know if emotionally he'll be able to accept that, but he needs to come back out and just engage the same way, and he's still got a chance in this match. Yeah, Time. very much so. I agree with you. That's, that's the question now. Can he sustain it? Can he keep his emotion in check? Because tennis-wise, he's neck-to-neck -neck now with Nadal. He really put on a good show tennis wise and uh, there's no doubt he can continue doing it more winners from uh, the racket of the Australian but more unforced errors as well uh, really throughout this contest it's it's been Nadal he's been much more level his level of performance is barely wavered curious as well that you expect that yeah. uh, from a, the king of clay okay, to be Mr. Consistent see here on, on the courts but Nick's always going to be a bit of a roller coaster. Full set. Curious. 50 left. That's the key beat after this disappointing third set. To start out strong. offensive this forehand and then that bit of defense this was an amazing approach and look at the shape of that ball it's outside the singles line he draws it back in Thirteen, fifteen. and the first serve keeps coming 
135 miles an hour. Not quite up to the 143 miles an hour that he generated a little bit earlier, but uh, steamy enough. Let first of us. Let first of us. That's an impressive start to the fourth set, three aces in that opening service game. And ironically, after he lost that set, Nick Kyrgios sat down, didn't engage with anybody, just was mellow and came back out, continuing on with the good form that he'd played in the third. Isn't it something to build on? Just let the tennis do the talking. Of course, do now and then. You know, he's an emotional guy, nothing wrong with it, but he shouldn't let his, you know, his thing, I would call it, <laughs> put his tennis down. Undermine what Undermine. he's that, That's what I don't understand. He's yeah. such a talented player, naturally gifted, you know, smart at times. And Boris, he's great to watch. Yeah. He's box office, isn't he? Box he's, office, he's, absolutely. You know, he's in a crowded marketplace and an increasingly crowded sporting marketplace. Yeah. This man at his best is box office. People switch on to watch Nick Kyrgios. Two like watching the dial as well. He leads two sets to one. Love one full set. Fifty <laughs> love. No. That's a serve definitely has picked up. That's the reason, in my opinion, he won that third set tiebreaker, and that's why he's so comfortably holding serve now. A lot of free points. But again, the one two combination. Spoke about earlier. Drama has the perfect theatre. And uh, a couple of superstars head to head. A lot of Spanish effort. That was a good hustle, wasn't it? He didn't miss that by much. I think Nick Kyrgios had stood and mired his volley for a little too long because it almost cost him. That's when the Nadal effect sets in. You played two, two and a half hours. There were baseline rallies. You had to really work hard to stay with the Spaniard. That's when you're physically starting to pay. <laughs> yeah, 
looking for confirmation from Damian Dumasois. Conversations between the two of them have been much more civil over the last half an hour or so. Yeah, but since his father got up there and told his son to come down a little bit and just That's do it. interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully it was because of that. Yeah. I'd like to think so. This is that George. I couldn't even imagine watching my son out there. I'd be more crazy than my son. I'd be going up the rafters. If <laughs> I feel that my son was disrespected. Boy, I admire that he's man. That was an unconventional inside out volley from him. Oh. Well, if we had a return of the day, that would be a contender. That one just didn't cut wide enough to Darwin win early to it he read it off the racket and he just rips this one cross court let first service of the match. Curious to leads two games to one. Fourth set. And that leads two sets to one. Test. Full of everything. You might Time. not like everything that you've seen, but you've been captivated by it, I'm sure, gripped by it. And quite often, these you know, blockbuster matches that we build up, and we talked about the last what, day or day and a half, and ever since the draw came out, they don't deliver. There's one guy just too strong, and the other guy doesn't show up. This one is spectacular, I thought. All elements, we had a bit of drama, a bit of controversy, a bit of bad behavior, f fascinating play. Love it. Yeah. And a uh, champagne cork just oh. landed on court. <laughs> Whose is it? <laughs> there we go. This has been Dom Perignon as opposed to a, a bad fizzer. Yeah. The weight has uh, carried us through the court back into the crowd. Ready now. Mr. Nadal String. Interesting enough, Nick hit the ball back. Mr. Nadal is chilling the call on the right baseline. The ball was called in. Well, there was a, there was a, he corrected himself, the line judge, and that's what Nadal was talking about. Ball stands. We play the point. The line judge was right to correct himself, but we all... Uh, the line umpire started to call out, then corrected himself. We replay the point. Don't often hear that. 
explanation to the centre court crowd about why we're replaying the point. Right. Nothing wrong with that. Folk paid a lot of money to be inside. They deserve to know why we're replaying this point. is turning the ball on the right far side line. The ball was called out. My suspicion that um, the call was right, which is a shame for Curious because the rescuing shot in the middle of all that was something else. Mr. Curious has two challenges remaining. Damian Dumaswap, our umpire, earning his corn this evening. Get the opportunity to go on centre court. Yes, I'll take it. But you've got a curious match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's yours today. Can I have a look at that list again, please? <laughs> My tummy isn't feeling well today. Uh, <laughs> he'll have been chosen carefully. I clearly feel he's uh, he's the best man for this job today, and he's uh, he's done all right. by the way, by some distance, the most expensive piece of kit that Nadal takes out onto the court. Once again, flying through the air in Australia to, uh, to pocket the point. 13, 15. I wonder when he starts changing strategy a little bit because the backhand on the line was coming and you know, doesn't want to get involved in too many longer rallies anymore. They were deep into you know, the third hour today. Curios in his eagerness to find it. Just over pitching. How much was the watch worth? Uh, half a million. Half a million of your English pounds. And he's left it behind in the locker room a couple of times, apparently. Imagine how you feel if you did that. Half a million pound watch. Nobody would dare to steal a Rafael Nadal watch. and all the people were looking for. Fourteen, that's it. Apparently it's, uh, it's engineered so acutely on the wrist that he barely feels it. He doesn't know that he has it on, which is the problem because he doesn't know when he doesn't have it on either and he leaves it behind. <laughs> feels exactly the same whether he has it or not. Anyway. We will start saving. We can have one of those in a. I'm just saying we don't have time. that problem. No. <laughs> Game point. Game Two games all. Fourth set. Fast changing rackets. It's rackets as well, by the way. A, a new change at Wimbledon this year, you might have heard. They're not being presented to the players after being restrung in plastic bags anymore. They've all gone. One of the little things that Wimbledon's doing to try and save the planet. Good. Don't need the plastic. Yes. Here's your racket without the bag. <laughs> the environment is important. We only have got one world. that can open up here for Nadal if he can flatten that one as he just did there and take on the line to Kyrgios I think for him it hasn't really used that shot as much as he could have I think it's actually better for you to restrain it out. 
15 off. You get in there and you, the, the racket actually can sweat a little bit. It changes the tension anyway. Particularly in the old days when we used to use complete natural gut throughout the restring. 30 for 10. reasons they had the plastic bag was just so they could simply label it yeah branding for the string <laughs> yeah um, they found a different way of labeling it without using the plastic <laughs> he's taken the area route whenever possible this evening 14 15 the peak Sampra slam dunk but it's not far away it was a bit too close to the net there oh left it was it a mistake yes 40 cut it really good angle there to see how much spin that Nadal parts on the ball in parts on the ball that trajectory was so high above the net and it just dips viciously. Let for Leading 3 2. Chaos leads 3 games to 2, 4 sets. Looks like he's come down. That leads 2 sets to Looks two. like he's got his emotion in Jackie. He knows what to do. It's all about the tennis. He's playing beautifully. The controversy of, yeah, end of the first set, early second set. Seemed to be a thing of the past, but who knows? This is a an accident waiting to happen. We've seen it so many times before, right? Yeah, it's something that you'd least expect to set him off, sets him off too, so. In terms of the way he's playing tennis, Todd, from an Australian perspective, does he, it, it's a thoroughly enjoyable match to watch at the moment, but increasingly you feel that Nadal's going to win it. So how, how does Kyrgios change the well, route? Well, I actually feel, I feel like, even though he's two sets to one behind, I feel like he's still got the, the, the upper hand in this okay. match. Strangely, you know, Boris and I both called that he'd win the tiebreaker, yeah. but Nadal raised his game, got the returns back into play, but he hasn't been Time. able to make any inroads into the service games within the sets of Nick Kyrgios for a long time. And, you know, for Rafa to win this match, he has to do something on these service games. He's got to make something happen, because if it just goes to another tiebreak, boy, I think... You know, Kyrgios is right there. I think he's playing tactically very well. I mean, Nick is the more natural grass court player anyway. So Nadal has to adapt to the surface and his style. And, and you're absolutely right to it. I think he has to do something more special than Nick to finish the match. Thank you. Players are ready. Here's Nadal in the fourth set. Leading two sets to one, two, three. Oh. Yeah, good. Like I said, obviously, it's becoming slowly a physical yeah, battle yeah. as well. And I think that's where Nadal is ahead. That's his strategy to wear the opponent down. So that's going to matter the longer the match lasts. Thank you, 
if he can drag Kyrgios with that left-handed swinging serve out of court and then target through there, he can win points far quicker. Mr. Kyrgios is taking the call on the right service line. The ball was called in. Forty eleven. Mr. Kyrgios has one challenge remaining. Chuckles when uh, when he's beaten by the ball. It's not the first time we've heard it. Three games on, four sets. <laughs> Fifty left. Twenty-five. And many more to come, I believe. Thirty love. <laughs> and that's the one area where Rafa has to be careful and to change positioning because it gives Nick always the same look, and for a good server. That's what we want. We want the opponent always to stay in the same place so we can keep our rhythm. I like that you looked at me and said that what we want yeah. because I, I can't relate to that. <laughs> Your serve wasn't bad. Come on, Todd. <laughs> oh, there's a bird. I haven't got my ladybird book of birds, so I don't know what it is, but it's a small one and it's scarping. Accelerator, not overhead. 4 3. Chaos leads four games to three. Four sets. And that leads two sets to one. Nadal, 3-4. Let. It, it's a funny moment in this match. There's, there's almost a feeling coming of a, of a lull. And, and Nadal has to be very aware that he has to keep his intensity up here. He only needs to maybe fall behind Love 15 and Nick Kyrgios, you know, whale a winner. And the pressure is immense.
15. He gives a nod to his box. He's very engaged in this encounter. He's just waiting for his chance. Let. First service. Again, if you know, she must have clocked off. She's a part timer, isn't she? Honestly, watching rather than presenting, enjoying this as much as we all are. Mr. Nadal is showing the call on the left near sideline. The ball was called fault. Nick is already changing sides. Interesting. And I think um, by four cartellers, four millimeters. 30 15. Four Spanish millimeters. Forty, thirty. A bit of a loose shot by Rafa. Some drop shotting on the back end often. Usually it's the forehand side. Maybe it's called the Nick effect. Just long. He's only got he's only got one challenge left. That may well have been in his Four mind. Games all. Yeah, I think so. Forfeit. Oh, that was a good hold from Nadal after losing that first point. That's in snappers row. Sign of frustration on the Nadal Eight return. Eleven. It was the second serve, and makeable, but he hasn't really hit any returns in an hour and a half, it feels like. Just doesn't really get a timing on it. Let's see what he does here. In a bit of trouble, he was out of court position, Kyrgios, so he went for the safety of slapping it cross court, but Nadal up to the task. Yes, that's the intensity you're talking about, Todd. He needs to 
push himself up. It's four in the third set, fourth set. There's some intensity on that forehand from Kyrgios. Mixed responding well. a good choice from Nadal, wasn't it? He hasn't spread the court as much as we maybe thought he might have. That left-handed forehand, he can hook it cross-court a little shorter, drag Kyrgios further wide. Time getting outside of the doubles alley. But that's the reason really Nick is very much in that match. It's the first serve. It's just at times Rafa doesn't even touch it. to a fifth on centre court. Kyrgios leads five games to four, four sets. And that leads two sets to one. You have to continue to build pressure if you're Nadal, and that shot choice from Kyrgios got away with it. It wasn't great. Rafa was up there, surprised he missed that little drop volley back there. Maybe a better look on the returns and he was just caught by surprise. Usually Rafa is good with shots like that. But obviously you respect Nick, you know, he's done it so often, so many times, you don't want to embarrass yourself either. Plays tricks with your mind. Yeah, this man is still very much in a match. Yeah, he's play he's playing as well, like the player who got to his highest 13 in the world not so long ago and then started to slip to the wrong end of the top 100 but uh, we, we've seen the best of Nick Kyrgios with a tennis racket in his hands. And, and I think we're all pleased to see that he turned Time. up today and has put this uh, show on for us. This is this is what we had hoped for. Now far first out of the gate. Yes, he's serving. It takes him an awful lot of time to do so. Right. Nadal serving to stay in this fourth set, 4-5. Four Speed. Because Nick's back and really needs speed to have any sort of power. There's one play we haven't seen Nick play today, and he sometimes uses it, and that's on a second serve, really hitting it and just coming in. It's not a chip charge, it's a hit and charge, and it rushes the opponent. Mm -hmm. Not a bad time mm -hmm. if he can get a second serve just to build some pressure with that hit. It's a play that he does off the backhand quite often. Thinking about the first pawn. That's a his game. Mm. 
40 low. A little echo of um, what we were watching in the first set or two. Swing hit, hope. You never know what's coming with this man. What you meant, mm -hmm. and then occasionally just just follow it in because what that could do is in. the next time that Rafa misses a serve, yeah, there's a fair chance of a double fault coming your way. The element of surprise. I don't know, I've only had two double faults in the in the match so far. Game four, four set. Just that uh, little southeast corner now of centre court, enjoying what's left of um, the sunshine and another glorious July day in southwest London. Outside our commentary box, a pump of the fists. He was back on his toes quicker than normal. Called it a small chance now. He's so deep on the return. He's not even in our camera picture there. Well executed volley. Played enough of those, Todd. Only way to winning the million titles here, or however many it was. Thank you. How many did you win here? Just, let's focus on this. Come on. Five or <laughs> fourth set. Every time he wins a point, uh, Team Kyrgios are off their feet. And Nick Kyrgios remaining calm and composed at the moment. He's in control of himself. Not too many. And for the drop shots, one of the most difficult in the book. We really have to get down low and stay down low on that shot. And He's trying to help lift it up as he hit it. Forty, thirty. One hundred and thirty-six miles an hour, twenty-eighth ace. Rafa's had thirty all in the last two service games, and he's gone to the ace well and keeps finding it. And he's, uh, he's now hit more aces in this match than even he did in that match in um, 2014, the, the day he went on to beat Rafa on this court. Yeah. He continues to play some wonderful tennis. And he continues to rattle Rafa. 6-5, fourth set. Kyrgios leads six games to five, four sets. And that leads two sets to one. Well, there's a, another 
a point in that sequence of two games where Kyrgios went for the drop shot and Nadal came in and he just pushing the ball. He, he's got the opportunity, but what we call a little bit of zip, you know, maybe give it some speed, get it to shoot through the court. And he's playing with just a little safety when those moments happen. I'd like to see him be more aggressive with it, even if he misses it. it it's a mindset. He needs to put his shackles off. Mm -hmm. He's too controlled when he has a chance. I think a lot has to do with this man because he he's looking for things like this. And even on the return, I feel like Rafa is too behaved all the time. He's got to really mix it up more because the way it's going, Nick is you know, hasn't had face to break point in what two sets now. And to go into another tiebreaker with Nick Curious and the record Time. both of them have in tie breaks. Yeah, those five break points that um, Nadal established feel a while ago, didn't they? Second set. And Nick is just waiting for that one moment. The last 15 seconds served, the 15.30. He's a very pure shot maker. He can win a point out of nothing. And once again, the challenge for the two-time former champion is to... serve to, uh, to stay in this fourth set. Serve to take us into a fourth set tiebreak. Fifty-nine. He's into double figures, ace-wise now. But oh, there you go. There's quite a gap between how one and the other has profited. Trademark. The big forehand after a good first serve. Very good. I mean, that doesn't happen naturally. That's called work, discipline. Practice, practice, practice. For all the younger kids out there who think he wakes up like this, no, he doesn't wake up like this. It's years of hard work, determination. see publicly Nadal practicing but if you ever come to one of these um, big tournaments take the opportunity to be in as early as you can and try and find out where Nadal is having a warm-up because it's something to see he, he's at match intensity and he's sweating profusely after about 10-15 minutes it's an extraordinary thing to watch and he brings all of that effort onto the court feeling his left hamstring was he a little bit there Nick Kyrgios well he needs to get that loosened up because we're heading into um, a fourth set tiebreak six games all four set tiebreak a little bit Each of player receive one in additional challenge this first round match after he lost the second set, but it doesn't seem to have been affecting his moving here. Well, Nadal won a, a first tiebreak in six against Nick Kyrgios well, about half an hour ago. Here comes uh, here comes another one. So that was 
Thomas has just talked about discipline. 1-0, Nadal. And here the feet didn't get around, he tried to play a shot that actually it should have been a backhand volley, it shouldn't have been an inside-out forehand, and that could be a potential match on that opening point of this tie-break. Certainly gives Rafa the edge now. Physically, he's a little bit less on it. He's missing a step. He's starting to show the wear and tear that means playing Rafael Nadal. that this was going to be ripped cross court he wasn't going to make it and Rafa <laughs> he hadn't looked down the other end so a mini breakdown Kyrgios love three let <laughs> first service he's been counting those lets throughout the match Sorry. quite a few of them Big first serves, quick points. Three two. Ace number twenty nine. Nadal. If he weren't with us earlier, he uh, he powered down the serve at 143 miles an hour. A second serve. Yeah, second serve. Nadal with the uh, with the slender advantage in this tiebreak, 3-2. Frustrated Nadal. by how well Nadal has played the last tie break at the first half of this one because when it has really mattered, he's found first serves, he's found some penetrating forehands, and he's up the ante on all the big points. Winner of this one, by the way, in the third round will play Joe Wilfred Songer, who has come through his match against Ricardo Barrancas in straight sets. Look at the crowd now giving both players the ovation they deserve. and uh, well not far off five star drama uh, what more of it do we have Nadal 40 Mr. Nadal is trying the ball mm -hmm. on the right far side line the ball was called fault this is a uh, Shot to nothing. Second sir. Kyrgios called it out as quickly as the line judge did. Two challenges remain. 
It was a bad miss, wasn't it? Because it was a safe second serve. It was the right thing to go after it, but he just hadn't got himself in position well enough. A bit more aggressive, Five, three. forthcoming. has felt personal. Thank you. 